Hi guys, Fab from Hoosh Marketing here. Today I'm going to teach you five health checks you should go through every time you log into Marketo. Now these don't take long, but they're definitely the difference between a power user and a beginner. I'm going to teach you today how to check whether your website tracking, which is your Munchkin code, is functioning correctly. How to ensure that the data between your CRM and Marketo is being synced and without delays. How to check the campaign queue for any problems or bottlenecks. How to check notifications to see if there's anything that requires our attention. And the last one, how to ensure that your time zone is set correctly. The fastest and easiest way to check that your Munchkin code is tracking website activity correctly is to go to analytics and find the web page activity report. Now you may need to adjust the settings if you've changed this, but by default it's set to this week, which is great. So we're going to run that report, and what this is going to give us is a list of all the lead activity happening, both anonymous and known, and that's exactly what we want to look at. What we're interested in was the last activity. So we're going to sort this first visit column descending, in descending order, and we're going to look at the last activity. So what we're interested in seeing here is how long ago was the last activity in this report. And this will definitely depend on your particular uh, instance of Marketo. Now if you get a lot of lead volume, then you expect to have some kind of lead activity in the last hour or perhaps a few hours. So in this particular case, last activity happened three hours ago, which is good. That means our munching code and tracking is working as of three hours ago. Now if it was three days ago, then there'd definitely be some kind of problem. Uh, and if you have high volume of leads, uh, even, even an hour gap from the last lead activity could be a warning sign that your Munchkin code is not working. So very much depends on how much website activity you get. But this is the fastest way to determine if it's indeed working. To check if your CRM sync is working correctly, there's two ways. If you're an administrator, you would go to the admin section, find your CRM sync section, so that could be Salesforce, Microsoft Dynamics, wherever that is, that would be under integration. And then you would look at the top right hand corner. So this will give you the date and time that the sync last happened. If this is within five, 10 minutes, that's good. That means the sync's working correctly with no delays. If it's highlighted in red, then there's definitely a problem with the sync that needs to be resolved. Could be the credentials have changed, could be API limits have been reached, there's a lot of different reasons why it might be highlighted in red. Also, if the last sync occurred several hours ago or yesterday, there's definitely something going on uh, and you need to keep your eye out on it. Now if you're a regular user and you won't have access to the admin section, the way to determine whether the sync is working correctly or not is to go to the notifications tab here. So let's click on that. Now if there was a problem with the CRM sync, a notification would be displayed here. Now you may be wondering why would you check that as an admin in the CRM section of your admin screen. That's because delays won't appear in the notifications. If the CRM sync is broken, a notification will appear here, but an admin needs to know whether it's occurring in a timely manner as well. And we're going to have a look at the campaign queue and the campaign inspector. So the campaign queue, that's going to show us what campaigns are about to go out or that are currently active. So you'll notice one here. There's a currently triggered campaign that's running. Now, if there's a backlog here or a large queue, that could be a potential problem. So it's something to uh, something to check. The other one is the campaign inspector. Now, this is important because triggers can sometimes be quite stressful on your Marketo instance, having too many triggered campaigns running. The campaign inspector will show you all the camp triggered campaigns that are currently active and waiting. So what I would recommend is have a look at how many are actually active. And if there are too many, 
find ones that are no longer really relevant, perhaps they're from campaigns from last year or last month, and deactivate them. So Marketo will do this automatically after a certain period of time, but I find that if you're doing high volume triggered campaigns, you may want to manually come in here every so often just to reduce the amount of triggered campaigns that will cause, um, well, it will prevent problems uh, in terms of performance later on. There's two ways to check for notifications. Now, if you have an active notification, you'll notice up here, it will pop up as a little note, so you can click on that, and that will take us to the notification tab. Here we go. The other way to find the notification tab is to simply click on My Marketo and then select the notifications tab, which will take you back to the same place. So what you see in the notifications tab will be warnings. Now there's a variety of warnings uh, that are quite useful. So for example, this one here is a campaign warning for a campaign that has an error in it. So it's something we can um, that we can check. But what we're really looking for here is serious errors such as CRM being broken. That's, um, that's one of the key ones that we check for notifications. Uh, and most of these notifications uh, require some kind of activities. For example, in this one, we should really fix this particular campaign. The last check we do is time zone. We want to make sure the time zone is correct. Now you wouldn't necessarily do this on every Marketo login. You'd certainly do it on your first. Now to change your own personal time zone, you would go to my account and then you would set the location settings down here. So we're checking that it's correct. It's Australia. That's fine. It's good. Now if you're an admin, you also have to set the instance time zone. Right, so if we click on location here, we'll notice that this is a different time zone. So we have to check that that's correct. So I've included this particular check for Marketo admins and also people that just have multiple logins to different Marketo instances. It's very easy to forget one or the other and then imagine problems are happening in your Marketo simply because you're looking at this, the wrong time zone. Well, that wraps up the tutorial on the five health checks that you should do after every Marketo login. With some practice, this should take you no more than 20 to 30 seconds after your login. I highly recommend it for preventing any kind of issues in your Marketo and is a must for any PAL users or Marketo admins.